Did you know that Eric Clapton once slapped his name on a Digitech pedal? Often referred to as the worst pedal in history. <laughs> but is it really that bad? Let's find out today. Clapton seems to be one of the most polarizing guitarists of recent times and it doesn't stop with this pedal. In conjunction with Eric Clapton, we have helped recreate some of his most famous tones in a box. This includes modeling the speaker cabinets, microphones with their placement, pre and post effects, and the recording engineer's magic all in one pedal. That is a big claim. The used price for one of these now really is quite affordable with the reverb price guide stating this to be around 49 to 80 pounds. Okay, so there's actually seven different modes on this pedal and they're all referencing back to very famous Eric Clapton, either studio or live performances. Mode one is Sunshine of Your Love. So let's have a quick listen to that now. Okay, so it took a lot of fiddling around, but in the end, I don't think it sounded too bad. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. It's uh, The next one is the crossroads setting, but we're going to leave that to the end. Okay, so this third setting is the badge setting, and honestly, I was really surprised by this setting. It actually gives like a very nice, slow, or fast uh, chorus, or sorry, fast Leslie sound like Clapton used on badge. I mean, for the price. For £50 to get a Leslie simulator that sounds that good is pretty amazing to be fair. jump to mode six now and this is an acoustic simulator trying to get the very classic tones of the unplugged album in particular Layla so we're gonna mess about now and try and get some acoustic sounds with a Gibson 335 is that possible I don't really know but we're gonna try it this a really good hidden gem or is it a bit of a novelty for bedroom players who just want to mess about a bit trying to get some claps and tones anyway here is the main clip i'm going to be playing crossroads by i'm more, more inspired by the john mayer version to be fair but it's got the um yeah the crossroads setting and we're going to try and just get a usable sound out of that and yeah very very wacky video very wacky pedal um i really do want to hear what you guys think Okay, so here's an actual track now, you, trying to use this in context um, as you know a usable tone, and hopefully that will answer whether this pedal is actually usable in a proper context. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think, and we'll catch you soon.